this green gas fuel we have is it's amazing and it's low cost and it's zero emissions and we're using it every day and I don't understand everybody wants it but I don't understand how to get it to the market I need somebody to come with investment or a little bit of government help to to uh, nurture it and bring it to the marketplace because everyone that comes to me says Roger I want a machine and I say well I'm not building machines yet I, I could build one at a time but I want to build lots at a time and it will take an investor to stand beside me or a partner. Green NH3 or green gas is not only good for cars and trucks, it's good for freight trains, highway trucks, farm tractors, air jets for around the world. This is the whole problem in the world right now is the big oil companies are getting bigger and putting the money into their bank accounts rather than keeping the money in the economy. There's four billion dollars of fuel being bought every day. Four billion with a B. If the consumer paid half the price, he would only be paying $2 billion a day. So that would put $2 billion, with a B, of money back in the economy every day. And the consumers would use that for other things. We've developed the machine now that's the size of a refrigerator. We can, we can fill the tanks uh, continuously. The fuel is ready when you are. And you can fill a large tank. If you have a farm, you can fill a large tank at night. To convert an engine is very simple. We have a kit now developed that we convert the engine. This is the, this is the only thing you need to can change on the engine and then you have some other injection equipment that we supply. This is the controller that overrides the computer and when we switch back and forth from, uh, from the gasoline to the uh, uh, NH3 fuel, you don't even notice a difference when you switch. This is how easy it is to drive. You start the vehicle the same as the same as with the gasoline power, then you switch the, uh, the fuel here on the dash, you just switch it, and you're, you're driving. And uh, as we're going, I can switch back to gasoline, and I can switch back to NH3, and you don't notice any difference in power. If I'm pulling a large trailer, the power is the same no matter if you have one ton or five tons. It's the same with NH3 or gasoline or diesel. It's all the same power. But we have to get this fuel through and we have to get it through now. It costs 50 cents a liter and you guys are all paying $1.25 plus and you could be paying 50 cents. So I just, I have to get something happening now. I, 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 it looks like I'm not going to make any headway with this Harbor government. So we have to replace Mr. Harper. That's, that's, it's too bad because some of these local MPs that are for conservative are good guys. But if you vote for them and Harper gets in, this fuel will never get in. Message has to get out to the people. Uh, young people, you're paying 50 or $100 for a tank of fuel. You could be paying half the price or less. And you, you're angry at the gas station attendant, but it's not the gas station attendant you need to be angry at. It's Mr. Harper or get some investor to come and stand beside us and put this fuel into the marketplace. And so this is why I'm trying to get all ages of people interested in and saying, look, hey, we can save our, 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 our cost on food and fuel. And with green gas, we're not emitting any carbon. There's zero emissions. So we're not polluting. When I run my farm, I'm using green gas. I'm putting no pollution in the air. So my farm gets cleaner and cleaner. We're self-sufficient. We have a completely self-sufficient farm. We make our own fuel. We, we use that fuel in the tractors and the cars and the trucks. And if you go on the website and, and, and see the, how it works, it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful new thing. <laughs>